Here's some more Tesla stock news. Number one, a real estate agent with a small PP has sold all three of his shares and is now short Tesla stock because inflation. I think he's talking about Meet Kevin. Number two, a degenerate crypto gambler who failed his polytechnic course has retreated his $69 price prediction. I believe he's talking about Chicken Genius Singapore. Number three, a fund manager overseeing $12.50 of assets under management who likes watching ads on TV thinks Tesla should do some ads on TV. I think I know who he's talking about. Number four, a wealth manager who 100% of the time underperforms the stock market every time he has a daily slot on CNBC to remind everyone that he sold his Tesla shares. I think that's Ross Gerber. I don't know where to go from here. The experts have spoken, the end is nigh. But I don't think the FUD right now about Tesla stock is nowhere near as bad as where it was in 2019 when I, <laughs> shortly after, I became a Tesla stock investor in early 2019 and got pretty bad during the summer. I remember Morgan Stanley came out of his uh, bear case price target of $10. Keep in mind, Tesla stock split multiple times since then, but at that time, Tesla stock was trading at about $200. So what? A 95% drop? I don't hear any relatively mainstream analysts saying anything close to that. So I have been through that. I feel comfortable holding Tesla stock. James Shirty, Tesla stock update. I expect the cost per vehicle to increase this quarter and auto margin excluding credits to drop quarter over quarter. Lots of reasons for this. Giga Berlin downtime and idle capacity costs. Higher production labor costs in the US and Europe. Higher transportation costs in Giga Berlin supply chain as shipping from China was disrupted due to the Red Sea incidents. Higher Cybertruck contribution to overall delivery mix. Decreased Fremont factory utilization due to issues with the Model 3 ramp. And higher depreciation costs due to new equipment required for the new Model 3. These forces should push up costs and more than offset any cost savings Tesla will achieve from commodities plus better Austin Model Y production. But the silver lining is that this should be Tesla's highest cogs per vehicle quarter all year. If Tesla is able to keep average selling price at least flat quarter over quarter, in subsequent quarters, margin will go up. James said that he is not feeling really positive about Tesla stuff, but also he explicitly stated that his timeline basically considers things happening in the next 12 to 24 months. So he's not necessarily looking out 10 years when he looks at Tesla stock. Can Tesla keep prices at least flat? I would become very bullish if we see that they start to advertise aggressively or if FSD starts to show a lot more promise. Another thing that could completely change the margin story in the second half of 2024 is the success of the 4680 ramp. If ever Tesla decides, for example, to bring back the 4680 Model Y version 2, that would be a bullish signal. AJ, of course, doesn't get everything right all the time, but he did share a list of things that he did get right. And here's how he feels about Tesla. I can barely remember a time when the setup for Tesla stock was better. Number one, there is a lack of attention. Investors are not paying attention attention to Tesla, not as much as usual. Nvidia and Bitcoin are drawing attention away from Tesla. There's also rate cuts that are likely coming. Seasonality for autos creates a tailwind from here on. Raw material prices continue to decline. Latest V12 videos look promising. As the robotics hype is building, so will the hype around Optimus. Now, I'm not saying that Optimus will make a lot of money for Tesla anywhere near in the short term or anything like that, but it's enough for everyone to get overly excited about that idea for Tesla stock to jump massively. Just like everyone got excited about supercharging uh, almost a year now, before today or more like nine months ago. Tesla's somewhat dated Model Y continues to break records and leads in some of the most competitive auto markets in the world. And finally, a long streak of the share price underperformance. As I argued in my research as AJ, as we quarters drop out of the estimates, we should see the stock move up in 2024. Many estimates now look too low and Tesla managed to defend a quite high PE for a long time, excluding the EV bubble 